Hi, my name is Dr. Pecoraro. I'm a chiropractor in Westfield, New Jersey. And today's meditation is on the wedding feast at Cana when Jesus turns water into wine. Now, many people don't know that these uh, jars that he made change the water into wine were not regular jars that you usually put wine in. These were basically basins that you wash your hands in when you came in to the party so just like we wash our hands before you eat and they didn't have sinks so they had these big basins full of water and you would wash your hands in there and then go to the party so these were the things that Jesus made the wine in not regular jars that you would normally put wine in now, why would he do this? Why, why is he making it in this kind of thing? I mean, it, it seems weird. Uh, you wouldn't even expect wine to be in these things. Well, many of you are probably too young to remember bathtub gin, but during the uh, Prohibition in the United States, a lot of people would make gin and other forms of uh, alcoholic alcohol in their bathtubs and then they would put it in the in jars and they would sell it and this was called bathtub gin because you made it in the bathtub and this is what that reminds me of Jesus is making this wine in these basins where you basically wash your hands just like the bathtub and you normally wouldn't find wine in these things so at the feast, you normally wouldn't find wine in here. You would, you almost would like think it was weird that they, well, you would think it was weird that there was wine in here, and the only way there would be this much wine because these were pretty big vessels would be that it was a miracle, and I think that's interesting. Uh, I'd like you to think about it yourself. See what you think, see what you come up with, and uh, meditate on it. And I'll try to bring you another meditation at another time. Thank you.